Hi guys, welcome back to the show. One of the most important things in Power BI Server is you can find out or you want to know if your data has changed. This could be your sales number has, has hit the threshold or your sales number has dropped at a certain level. And the best way to do it is to set an alert in your Power BI service so that when there's a data change, you get an alert. However, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I'm Puntree and I'm here to help you to become a better Power BI developer. So without any delay, let's jump to my desktop. Okay, so here's in my um, Power BI service report. So in order to um, set the alert, you need to pin this into a dashboard. Okay, so I'm going to pin, say, let's see, I'm going to pin my card. I call it, um, a new dashboard, I call it sales, sales report. Okay, let's pin that. I'm gonna also gonna pin. I'm also gonna pin my total sales amount. Oops. The sales report. I'm gonna also pin the the table report. This this will be my dashboard. <laughs> and I'm also will pin the last one. So line chart. Okay. So now if I go on my dashboard, I have all these beautiful dashboard reports. Now to set the alert it's only available in the card visualization, the good visualization and the KPI. It doesn't available in the line chart or the table chart. Okay, so if you look at here that's where you can set your manage alerts. Same with this one, set your manage alerts, but not in the um, the table or the line chart. Okay. So let's take an example of the total sound. Let's say we set the manage alert. You got to add alert rule. Um, I'll stop all these cells. So about 3 million, 30 million, okay. just you can call any title you want and I set that to 30 million. Now you can set the maximum equation frequency at most 24 hours or every, every hour, so I'm going to set every hour and I'm going to send it to myself. Okay. So let's let's change this total sales amount. So let's quickly change the sales amount to uh, high numbers, so you can get alert. So let's change to three million. Let's save that. So now that I just update my cell to three million, I'm going to refresh the report. And if I go back to my dashboard, I should see the alert here. Yeah. You can see there's an alert, and there's also an alert here as well. Let's click on this alert. It's telling me that my cells are about three million, thirteen minutes ago. Okay. So and then I also get an alert in my in the email as well. So I also send to my email. So um that's how you do it and you also get an alert in here as well. So what do you think of this alert? It's easy, right? Very easy to set up. So if you find this video useful, please hit that subscribe button and share it to your college or friend. So um, I'll see you in the next video.